Chikungunya, or CHIKV, is a mosquito-borne virus belonging to the family Togaviridae and the genus Alphavirus. The virus was first identified during an outbreak in Tanzania in 1952. The name chikungunya is derived from the Kimakonda language, meaning to become contorted, referring to the bent posture of those suffering from joint pain due to the infection. Historically confined to Africa and Asia, chikungunya has spread to parts of Europe, the Americas, and other tropical regions, facilitated by increased urbanization and globalization. In recent years, outbreaks have occurred in India, Southeast Asia, and Latin America, affecting millions of people. Chikungunya is primarily transmitted through the bite of infected mosquitoes, specifically Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes are highly adaptable and thrive in both urban and rural environments. They lay their eggs in small bodies of standing water, such as discarded containers, flower pots, and even puddles. What makes these vectors particularly effective is their aggressive daytime feeding behavior, meaning they can transmit the virus during times when people are more active outdoors. Climate change and global travel have also facilitated the spread of these mosquitoes to new regions, increasing the likelihood of outbreaks in previously unaffected areas. The incubation period for chikungunya is typically three to seven days after a mosquito bite. The virus primarily causes a sudden onset of fever and severe joint pain, known as arthralgia. Other common symptoms include muscle pain, headache, rash, and fatigue. The joint pain can be debilitating, lasting for weeks or even months in some cases. Though chikungunya shares some symptoms with other arboviruses, like dengue and zika, it is distinguished by the severity and duration of joint pain. Unlike dengue, chikungunya is rarely fatal, but it can lead to chronic arthritis and joint swelling in some individuals, particularly the elderly and those with pre-existing conditions. Diagnosis of chikungunya is based on clinical presentation and confirmed through laboratory testing. Serological tests, including the detection of IgM and IgG antibodies, are commonly used to identify recent or past infections. However, during the acute phase of infection, reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT-PCR, is the preferred diagnostic tool to detect viral RNA. Given the similarities between chikungunya, dengue, and zika, it's critical to differentiate between these diseases. Misdiagnosis can lead to ineffective treatments and complications, particularly in areas where multiple arboviruses are circulating simultaneously. Preventing chikungunya largely depends on controlling the mosquito populations that transmit it. Public health strategies include eliminating breeding sites by draining standing water and using insecticides. On an individual level, people can reduce their risk by wearing long sleeves, using insect repellents containing diethyl toluamide, and sleeping under mosquito nets. There is no specific antiviral treatment for chikungunya. Medical care focuses on relieving symptoms, particularly pain and inflammation. This often involves non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, hydration, and rest. Although there is no vaccine available at present, research is ongoing, with several candidates in various stages of clinical trials. This is it for today. We hope you have liked this video. Please support us by subscribing to our channel.